All right, class, today we're going to talk about the stormy 60s from 1960 to 1968. Again, diving right in, let's talk about the new President JFK, who at the time was the youngest president in American history. He brings on quite a young cabinet, and they decide that they've got a new way of looking at the world. And part of the new way of looking at the world is, is the ability to um, push the American people and encourage them and motivate them in ways that they haven't been before. And this includes talking about sp space exploration, and it also has to do with the way you look at the world and international relations in that, unlike Eisenhower, who said, I'm going to threaten big, bold responses in order to um, get what I want from other countries. Kennedy favored a flexible response, meaning I will respond to you in a appropriate, balanced way to the conditions that go on overseas. So if it's a minor scuffle, the United States will engage in a minor way. If it's more major, then, then the United States will respond in that kind of balance. Um, but this also leads to Vietnam. Um, because of the flexible response, Kennedy gets more involved in Vietnam, starting by sending military advisors and then more and more troops to the country, which was something that Eisenhower very much avoided because he didn't want to get the troops bogged down. So as that continues, there, it, it escalates a confrontation there. Also, with the, with the communist leader now of Cuba being less than 90 miles away from our coast in Florida, Kennedy had a lot to be concerned about the spread of communism. Kennedy dies. We have a separate presentation there on that, an incredible assassination that, that rocked the country. There might not be, uh, it's one of the most emotion-packed and disturbing events that happen in, in, to the public at large. Lyndon B. Johnson becomes president, and you see um, him really mobilize Congress. Again, somebody who knew how to get things done, the legislator. He gets a lot of uh, legislation through. It is interesting to see his a campaign with Goldwater in 64. Um, but, you know, his really, when you look at Lyndon B. Johnson, it's civil rights in Vietnam. Um, you need to know what all was passed through the great society in Congress, but you really need to look at civil rights during this era of 1964 to 1968 is really, really going to grow. Also, our involvement in Vietnam is going to grow dramatically. And even though he didn't campaign as a president that would be a wartime president, he absolutely finds himself as such. So let's first start with the civil rights movement. Um, you see a lot of successes. I think that it's very important here with when you answer this discussion question to look at, first of all, through the 50s and 60s, see what problems um, the civil rights movement had, look at what they had to, to deal with, what specifically, look at schools, look at busing, look at segregation in public places, and then look at how both, how the civil rights movement decided to address it. And there's really two factions of this, which again, we get into in a later presentation, which is the Martin Luther King, um, very much a nonviolent, a very religious man who pushes for that type of solution. And then you have a Malcolm X who pushes for a more aggressive, immediate response and how the country navigates those waters. And so when you really look back at this time period and you look at Kennedy and you look at Johnson, um, it's very interesting because JFK is memorialized as a hero in American history, even though he served just a little over two and a half years as president. Johnson, who serves a little over five years as president, passes more legislation. You have the Civil Rights Act. Um, you have a heavily involvement in Vietnam, which ends up being a very, very unpopular war. Um, you see that even though Johnson does all of these acts and, and great society programs that are still in place today, Social Security, um, Medicaid, Medicare, um, you see his reputation as being largely negative. And you see Kennedy as, as you know, I mean, again, if you ask many Americans to place their top um, 10 presidents, he usually makes a list. Now, that being said, a lot happens during the Kennedy presidency, right? even missile crisis. Um, you have the um, multiple situations with the Russians and, and the Cubans. You, you have the Berlin Wall goes up. You have a lot that goes on there. And so that part of that is why people remember Kennedy so well as a president that was able to guide through those difficult times. And again, we'll have more on civil rights movement in a later lesson and also go much more in depth about the assassination that rocked the country, President Kennedy.